Hello. Good morning. I am at Jeff Tech. I am at Norwegian Cheese. You are watching at all the stations. <laughs> it's day. Do you want to wait for this? It's day 83. <gasps> yeah. The 28th of July. Yes, it's a Friday. Today's video will be five minutes of the improvement works at Lancaster Station. No, today's video will be, where are we going? Cumbrian Coast. Are you ready? At all the stations. <laughs> So yesterday was just really one line, Settle and Carlisle. Today is really another line. It's the, uh, it's the hang on, let me get it right. Cambrian Coast, no Cumbrian Coast. It's the Cumbrian Coast line, which is where we're doing Lancaster to Barrow, but then really it's Barrow to Carlisle, and the railway hugs the coastline through Bootle, uh, through Ravenglass, where there's a little, little railway there, a little heritage railway, through Sellafield, famous for being clear through St Bees where you're going to get out and do the Vicky Explores through Workington. I remember Workington as always being bottom of the fourth division in football but Workington is where there was a bridge collapse years ago and they built a temporary station called Workington Mall. Well, yeah this is a lovely line and it's one for the enthusiasts because of the shortage of diesel units like the one we're on now uh, on certain times of the day certain services they're pulled by traditional locomotives with a rake of carriages behind. An interesting fact that we found is that uh, they, they proved to be so popular with just round enthusiasts that actually it started to make them more money than ever. They, like they think it was going to be a temporary solution, but now they're thinking of keeping these old locomotives, the Class 37s, running on this line because it's sort of become an attraction in its own right. <laughs> Now, we're coming into Arnside. There's something a little bit special about it. Is we got, apparently there's a really famous fish and chip shop in Arnside, or at least that's what the proprietor tells me. And he was going <laughs> to give us free fish and chips because he thought we were coming down the line and we'd be arriving in the evening. But then he heard that we were coming up, we were starting a barrier coming up in the morning. He went, well, so can I just bring you morning tea? It is, a, it is a bit early for fish and chips. It is a bit early. It's, it's only five past nine. So hopefully, on the platform right now, is going to be a nice gentleman from Arnside nice. Fish and Chip Shop. If you're in Arnside, Go get some fish and chips there, and he should be bringing us tea. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, gosh. In real life. <laughs> nice this is it. You. You've got 30 seconds to, to plug Thank your you fish and chip shop. Outside chip shop. <laughs> That's it. One of the best things. Quick, get a photo. Enjoy. Get a photo. Thanks, we'll lean, we'll lean in the door. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, so, trip. thank you so much. Very much like Daniel Craig. <laughs> You said you look like, I look like Daniel Craig. little from Brompton. Yeah, people have said that. I mean, I love you, but you don't look like Daniel She's never said that before. No, you people say I look like Jeremy Renner. You're not, you're not stocky enough to be Daniel Craig. YouTube, it's time for a poll. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Do I look more like... No. Jeremy Renner. Neither. Or Daniel, yeah, but which out of the two? You or, look more like Jeremy Renner. Or Daniel Craig. Vote now. I mean, whilst having this really important discussion, we've missed an amazing signal box and a nice view. That is an amazing view. Okay. Quick, look at the view. Sorry. Right. No time to stop, but Alverson just looks remarkable. Dalton, the birthplace of Stan Laurel. From La Laurel and Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> there may be some viewers who don't know who Laurel and Hardy are. Well, How far are you going? All the way to Carlisle. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to Barra. It, it's sort of the end of a line, but two different lines come in. There's no buffer. I don't know how to get a buffer shot. But technically, it's the end of a line. But, but it, is it the end of a line, you know, where it comes in and then goes out again, like a, like a V shape? I've never known. It's not like it comes and ends. It's Sorry, I stopped listening. I was looking at the symbol. Yeah. Yeah. Amusingly, on the train down to Barrow, we met the delightful Steve. He went, are you the All The Stations guys? Oh, 
No, but could you just say, so apparently you've been chatting to some of your colleagues. Yeah, that's right. And, and some of your colleagues have sort of been admonishing us slightly in a kind of, well, they're not getting, they're not getting out at every stage, so they're not doing it properly. You're cheating, basically. But you've, you've come to our defence, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, saying, yeah. So, yeah. You've so, convinced me, you've taught me around. How did we convince you? You convinced me by saying, basically, you've got lives to lead after this. <laughs> And, it w and so what we're doing is taking three months, and if we were to do it by getting out everywhere, it would take like a year. At least, 18 yeah. months. Why do you like trains, Steve? I don't like trains, yeah. I've been around the railways all my life. Uh, <laughs> Class 37 is a fantastic, brilliant locomotives. They drew me onto the railway, I've been on the railway 30 years, I don't think I've ever looked back. So uh, basically, yeah, trains are my life and that's that. Love it. And what is it? Is it the smell or the sound of a 37? It's the sound of the 37. <laughs> the sound of a 37. The sound of the 37. Later today, you're going to hear the sound of a 37. Nice one. Thank mate. you so much. No mate. worries. You've been brilliant. Right, You've been brilliant. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. This ain't no class 37. Oh no. Oh no. Get yourself a pacer, Vicky. Oh, it's going to be fun. That's Sauerkraut. Now, I'm just going to call it this. This video, you know, is one for the vehement enthusiast, as you would say. It's past 37 day, and I don't know what that means. Vehement enthusiast. No, class. You, whatever you say. You still don't know what a class 37 is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so I'm just about to say <laughs> it's going to come by any second, and there it was. <laughs> Do you not know what a class 37 is? I know it's a different type of train. So what we'll do, we'll get one later at said these, and I'm sure there'll be some people travelling on board that are doing it just for the just for the sake of it. And we'll we'll chat to some of the lovely guys on board. Okay. And they'll be able to explain to me. They I'm gonna get you to talk to them. Okay. And they're gonna to explain to you why it's so cool. Why a class 37s are probably one of the best locos that we've ever had. That's the Laramati, it's the Raven Glass and Railway. It's a miniature two foot railway. And it used to bring down slate. So I know where the offices <laughs> the pacer went off in that direction. Look at the tiny platform. It's 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 small, but because it's a Harrington hump, it's actually longer. There's an abandoned one there. It's single track. The the, the sea's coming in. The audio is probably bad because there's a lot of wind right now. I don't care. It's just fantastic. I have another new favourite station, and the best bit is that I have my drone with me. new level of nothingness. It, this is in my top 10 favourite stations. <clears throat> and now I've got to walk for about 45 minutes to send these to catch up with Vicky. Oh look! <coughs> Cows! What a great station, St Bees. It feels very quaint. I can tell I'm going to like it. St 
St. Bees is named after this lady, St. Bega, who was the daughter of an Irish king. And legend has it that St. Bega refused to marry the man whom her father had chosen for her. So she ran away, she got in a boat, which washed up here. Some say that she lived here as a hermit, others say she set up a nunnery. At the heart of St. Bees is St. Bees Priory, and that's where I'm headed right now. One of the main reasons I wanted to come to the Priory is to find out more about the St Bees Man. In the 80s, there was some excavation work being done in the Priory and they uncovered the graves um, of two people. One uh, was a skeleton that had just been buried uh, into the ground. Another was in a lead coffin. And when they opened the coffin, there was a miraculously preserved body inside. So preserved that there was hair, fingernails, and even some of the internal organs. And I think it's likely that it's the body of a 14th century knight. Um, and the skeleton would have been the sister of, of the knight. Aha! I spy a station and level crossing. Which means Vicky's around here somewhere. That's some bees. Quaint. It's very good, right? I've, I've, I've seen lots of bees. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, are you ready? Yes. For a proper train, class 37. Okay. It's going to make a hell of a, a noise and a, and, a, and a beautiful smell. I can hear it already. I can hear it. I can hear it before I see it. Okay. It's a proper train. Proper train. <laughs> It's clearly full of people who yeah. mainly come to ride this train because it's this type of train. And the seats are comfortable. There is more leg room. You get you're guaranteed a window, that's nice. But the arm wrists, they're fixed, they're like hard plastic, you can't move them. You can't lift them up. So But it's just great having a, a locomotive on the front, having a proper locomotive. It means there's no engine underneath the floor here, so these carriages are quieter. But why is, on, why, is, so why is that better? Some people some people that? prefer that because you haven't got a noisy diesel engine underneath the seat where you're sat, which is what you get on a two or three car sprinter. So more comfortable seats, quieter ride, and, and, a, and a gorgeous locomotive up front. There is a very strong stereotype that yeah. is often put on people yeah. when they say they're interested in, in railways, sure that they're interested in trains. Yeah. Um, we ourselves have been labelled as train spotters. I know what you're going to ask, and I can already give, I tell you the answer. So... Because the answer is because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a throwback. Well, what's my question? Why, why, do you, why do I prefer a loco, a loco hauled service? Yes. Because it's a throwback to a proper train when trains were first. But but the trains that we have now are proper trains. They're actual trains. No, they're not. They're, not. they're actual trains. No, they're multiple. No, but def okay, define a proper train. In the eyes of many, a proper train is a locomotive at the front. You know, originally a steam train, then later a diesel locomotive like you have now, and then a rake of carriages behind. I admit it's nostalgic purposes, but the essence of the railway, going back to Victorian times, is that you had a steam haul, a steam locomotive hauling a rake of carriages. And then, you know, in more modern times, you know, within the lives of li many living now, it was a diesel locomotive pulling a rake of carriages. And now, almost all trains in Britain, including West Coast Mainline and East Coast Mainline trains, you know, they're like big, long, sexy trains, but they're still really multiple units. They're all connected together. It's not a locomotive pulling freestanding carriages. It's just a magnificent thing. Do you prefer 37 or a Sprinter? But they're running all right. They're all right. <laughs> Do you want 
to come to work and we're just we're actually we're doubling back we're here for 10 minutes but it's worth pointing out that uh, a couple of years ago Workington had another railway station Workington North just the other side of the river there was a terrible incident where uh, a local policeman lost his life with one of the road bridges there were some horrendous floods and one of the road bridges collapsed uh, into the river uh, further up the road there was a footbridge that had gone and then the other bridge the other road bridge and it sunk and it was like it was deemed unsafe however the railway bridge which we're going to go over in a minute was totally fine. So how about this? Network Rail, to their credit, quite quickly came along and installed a temporary platform the other side of the river and installed the temporary Workington North Station and that's where the Class 37 is coming because ZRS uh, Direct Rail Services then came down uh, and ran a free, how about this, free railway service from here, Workington, to Workington North and then up to Maryport just shuttling people back and forth and it enabled the town of Workington brilliantly to cross the river whilst the road, bridge, uh, the road bridges were being repaired. Free service. Our last train of the day, it's yep. a pacer. Heading for Newcastle, man. Newcastle. Yeah. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's a day off. Yay. Sunday, uh, Teesside Airport. Bye.